Hi everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. I'm your host Faraz. So in this video we are going to solve another question called combination sum. And as you guys have already a good practice of recursion and backtracking if you have been following my playlist. So you can just try this problem by your own. You can go to the description, find the link of the question and try it by your own. If you are not able to solve and if you want to know the optimized approach, you can just come back to the solution and continue watching the video. Okay, so let us see what the problem statement is. We are given an array of distinct integer candidate and a target integer. Return a list of all unique combinations of candidates where the chosen number sum to the target. You may return the combination in any order. The number may be chosen from the candidate as unlimited number of times. Okay, so we can see the example here. This is the candidate list and this is the target. Target is 7. Now we should choose number from the candidates such that all those numbers they sum up to the target. The first example is 2, 2 and 3. So 2, the number 2 we are picking it 2 number of times and the number 3 we are picking 1 number of times the number 6 is 0 number of times the number 7 is again 0 number of times so we will attain this configuration 2, 2 and 3 and the summation is 7 here now we can see there is another solution that is the only number here is 7 so we are picking 2, 3 and 6 0 number of times their frequency is 0 and 7 the frequency is 1 so we have to generate all the possible solutions this way now let us see, let us go to an example and see how we can do this using recursion and backtracking. So here we are given the candidate as 2, 3 and 5. This is the candidate list and the target is 8. So we will be starting from the first element that is 2. So for 2, we can either skip it or we can include it into the solution. So we have two options. The first option is to simply skip 2. So if we skip 2, we should move on to the next element so we should just delete it from the candidate list because if we are skipping it we won't need it in future as well so the candidate list will now be 3 and 5 and what is the target that we need now the target we need is still 8 we still want to generate 8 and in the solution space we don't have anything because we didn't include the last element now here if we picked up the first element that is 2 so in that case we are not going to delete it from the candidate list why so because if we are picking two we might need it in future as well we might pick it in future as well so two three and five will still remain in the candidate list the target will now reduce to six because we have already let me just uh, make some space over here so yeah let me just make it here we have two three and five into the candidate list the target will now reduce to six because we picked up two and two will now come into the solution okay let us explore the left hand side of the recursion here we have again two possibilities the first one is to skip three so we skip three five will remain to the candidate list so five is still here the target that we need is still eight and the solution is empty if we pick up three then the target that we need is five 8 minus 3 is 5 and into the candidate list we will have 3 and 5 and into the solution we will have 3 okay so let me just further explore this one so if we explore this one and if we skip 3 so if we skip 3 the target that we need is still 5 in the candidate list only 5 will be remaining and in the solution we will have three now here if we skip five then the target will be five the candidate list will be empty and in the solution we will have three now as we can see here we don't have anything remaining in the candidate list so we cannot reduce five to zero if we are going to explore it further so we are just going to stop here and we won't explore further now exploring the right hand side let's say if we picked up this 5 so if we picked up this 5 the target will now reduce to 0 in the solution we will have 3 and 5 and the candidate will candidate list will still have 5 now here as the target got reduced to 0 this is one of the solution so we are just going to store this 3 and 5 into the global answer or the list of solutions okay and we'll just stop here we won't explore further all right so let me just explore this side let me just explore the right hand side here so let's say we picked up this 3 so the target that we need is 5 minus 3 that is 2 and if we pick up 3 we will be left with 3 to pick up in future as well we are not going to delete it from the candidate list and here we will have 3 and 3 into the solution 
Now again let us say if we pick up this 3 and go to the right hand side. So we'll be having 3 to pick up in future as well. So this will be the candidate list. The target will now reduce to minus 1 and into the solution we will have 3, 3 and 3. Now as soon as the target get reduced to a negative number we are sure that we won't be able to make it positive or 0 in the future. So we'll just stop here and we won't explore further and this is not a solution okay. So we'll just return from here. So this is how we are going to do this. Let us just see the code for this for better understanding. We are going to create a function void help in this I will start from i is equal to 0. We are going to start with i is equal to 0 and let us say if I want to skip this 2 so I can just move i to the next element that is i plus 1 and if I pick up 2 then I might need it in future as well I am not going to delete it from the candidate list and I will keep the i same that's why I am using i here then we have the candidate and the target and a vector of int solution to store all the elements that comes into my solution so what is the base condition here? The base condition is the target is now equal to 0. So this is the base condition when the target is now 0. So if the target is 0, this solution is one of the answers. So we are going to add it into the answer, answer dot pushback. And what is the answer here? Answer is the list of solutions. So let me just create answer. Answer should be vector of vector of int. I'm making it global. So answer dot pushback this and then return from here okay and we also saw that if the target get reduced to a negative number we should simply return from here because we have no possibility so even if we explore further we won't be able to generate the answer so return what if i is equal to c dot size if i is equal to c dot size that means we reached till the end of the candidate list we are done with all the elements we are not left with any element to pick now in that case we are sure that the target is not zero okay that's the reason why I'm coming to this condition otherwise I would have returned from here so the target is not equal to zero and we are not left with any element to pick so there is no possibility just return from here there's no benefit exploring this further because we won't get the answer otherwise if these three conditions are not met then we can either skip the ith element so just skip the ith element if we do that just call the helper function to i plus 1 c target will still remain target and solution otherwise we can pick the ith element so if we pick the ith element it might be possible that we will pick it up in the future as well so we are not going to increment i help of i, I will remain the same then c then target will now reduce t minus c of i because we are picking the ith element and the solution will now have something into it the solution should have this c of i okay all right now as we pushed back something to the solution we changed the solution so while coming back while backtracking from here we should uh, remove this element from the solution so pop back the last element okay so i think this is it let me just call this function from here help of 0 comma c comma t comma solution and changing the name of variables over here and before passing this sol I should create a vector of int sol and then return the answer let me just try to run this this is basically the backtracking part It is giving us correct answer. Let me just submit it now. And it got accepted. So this is it for the solution. If you like the video, make sure to leave your likes. And if you want more such content in the future, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon.